Big day right. in Arkansas here. Spurrier's going to go with the Bletter and uh, Blake Mitchell at quarterback. He may use as many as three guys. You know, Arkansas is 3-0 and in the conference. That's a Sunbelt conference. They're badly in need, though, of a win in the SEC. Houston Nutt gets some inspirational help. Frank Broyles, former coach AD, at this final game in Fayetteville. He told the players there, they remember November. This is when you need to rally, and they'll have guys like Jerry Jones, Barry Switzer, Broyles' old players on hand. In the to number five. And this time, Bob, they kick it towards Jones, who's able to field it all the way up at the 19-yard line. Somebody got their hat knocked off. Maybe some bump in the mild concussion last week delivered a strike that time. This is Felix Jones trying to get to the edge. Squares those shoulder pads and gets a first down. In the backfield for Arkansas tonight. A little end around Michael Smith on the carry. And Smith with a nice gain. Get a first look at the Wild Hog offense as McFadden lines up his quarterback. No quarterback can lower his pads and his hat like that. First down is in this offense. It's really, when they get in the wild hog, it looks like the old wishbone. Yeah. Just a lot of moving misdirection. Third and goal on the fade. Touchdown, Marcus Monk. Corey Boyd on the draw, and he stopped up. Maybe lost the yard in the play back at the 33. That's been the problem for South Carolina. They get a little bit here, and then it collapses on Mitchell. Bat it down. Let this roll. You're going to see he's going to beat Justin Sorenstam right there. Malcolm Shepard, Mark, played defensive. Oops, I run by people. Third and four. They converted last time on third down. Casey Dick converts again. Complete to Davey again, and Davey beats Felix Jones in a tailback. Jones on the carry, cutting it back, and Jones on the loose. Jones on the move. Turbo time. Touchdown. But you're going to watch him right here. He is going to miss a tackle. And then Felix Jones. They should just call him Smiley because he is always cheesing and gave his teammates a reason to smile with that play. Back after this. Playing with him every day in practice makes you work harder. Little out and up pattern. And had Cook open, and it was under three. About Mitchell has missed five of his last six pass attempts under some heat and almost had it picked off at the 30. Heisman resume a little bit earlier in the first quarter. On the end around, this is Jones, and Jones has some real estate ahead of him. Felix Jones telling everyone to look at his shoe bottoms. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Direction in the backfield right here. And he gets a block by Hillis right there. The fullback takes him to the ground. Bob, nobody's going to catch him at that point. Approaching two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Little trickery. And this is McKinley on the end around. Eluding a couple of would be tacklers all the way out to the field. Back with the second quarter right after this. Nobody can question the level of competition tonight against South Carolina's defense. Arkansas third nationally in rushing yards behind Navy and West Virginia. And a, a year ago against this Arkansas team, Blake Mitchell got his season and his career back on track. Maybe another resurrection story in the making tonight. Drinking that Gatorade, he's a guy that cramped up as did several players last week in Knoxville. So keep that guy hydrated now. Felix Jones has had a huge night already, and Felix Jones has been very elusive. A great kickoff return all the way out near midfield. That's earlier in the season. Here they are in the Wild Hog formation. Casey Dick, and wide open downfield. Oh, it's got six on it. Touchdown. Lucas Miller. There's the football down the field. Another element right there. Wow. That's a great play. Really rolling right now. Back after this. Mitch Mustaine, everybody's homegrown favorite. I left the program last year and transferred to USC. Mo Brown couldn't hang on to it at the 30-yard line in that game. 
Mitchell sacked. Mitchell, number 90, he's right here. He's just going to overpower the guard right here. Wow. He just ran over the top of Seaver Brown, the freshman out of Clearwater, Florida. He came out of nowhere last year to make an impact and doing this. Mitchell working out of the shotgun this time. Incomplete, no flag on the play. Took himself the too seriously. Very laid back personality, guys. Yeah, great points, Stacey. As here he is again on the carry out of the Wild Hog offense. McFadden, he may not take himself seriously, but the defense better take him seriously. Out near the 40 yard line. And we talked about it several times. They can hit the home run out of the running game. They don't have to throw it up top. And here's what I'm talking about McFadden. Down. It's three running backs that did. Yeah, Felix Jones with a 75-yard touchdown run and a 40-yard touchdown run. Coach Spurrier, what was your most specific message down 18 to your guys? Well, we just we just got hammered, and uh, hopefully we we can try to hammer them a little bit. We were down more than this last week, so maybe we can come back. We're gonna try. Coach, how do you how do you get a handle on McFadden and Felix Jones? Uh, well, you try to not get blocked and try to. You know, we stopped him a few times, but not very much. All right, thanks, Coach. Mitchell incomplete at the 15-yard line by Cook. And then into the end zone, it was the other Cook, Jared Cook, and they are really cooking now, down by the state. It's, right now. It's, it's amazing when you lose confidence on defense. McFadden. With some yards after contact, about five pounds. So he's not a little guy. Out of the wild hog formation, this is Smith. And Smith gets That's McFadden back there. He gets the call. Darren McFadden reading between the tackles and a nice burst across the 40. <laughs> out of the wild hog formation, McFadden keeps it. And it turns out to be a good decision. First down. In terms of all time rushers in the SEC, looking to pass it. He's thrown four touchdowns. Up for grabs. And there's number five. The money for him, Bob. Mark, you knew it was coming. We talked about the most versatile player in the country. He got so excited, he took his eyes off the football, <laughs> throws off his back foot. But how about Robert Johnson, who was the starting quarterback last year in the first game of USC? Goes up and makes a play. That's the Mark Rick roll. <laughs> Everybody wants to celebrate now after a touchdown. We're going to talk about that, too. <laughs> well, you know what? You can certainly understand the emotion that Johnson let loose with that quick, spontaneous, I'll say. <laughs> Back with more after this. <laughs> in the game. Look at this, another onside kick attempt. This time the Razorbacks weren't sleeping on it. It's out of bounds. It's mathematically to win the division. And McFadden takes the handoff. And a good move. And another one. So far untouched. Darren McFadden down to the 10. Watch the misdirection. Then he follows Hillis up into the hole. And then a little shake and bake right there on 32, Darian Stewart. That is tough. With three minutes to go. Wild hog formation. Felix Jones, first round. Oh, man. You talk about it. Better ask somebody. Felix Jones with the score. And he gave a great block. Watch Garner. They never got Boom. a hand on him. They talk about staying on a block. Remember the point that he can say to keep Mark. one of them in the school next year. He gave year. a little <laughs> signal right there. You, you know what? He's spotting. Darren McFadden is still in. Boyd off the toss into the boundary. All down right, and that's the end of the third quarter of play. Back with the fourth right after this. Tonight, and a look at the all-time leaders in the SEC. Darren McFadden tonight, moving into the number seven hole ahead of Edmund Smith. Third down and coming up for the Arkansas to, to stay. And right now, just a couple of hours short of graduating, and Mitchell sacked back at the 45 yard New Jersey. Looking up top for a little help. Back after this. The give is Bye. once and more. Bye. McFadden. See ya. D-Mac. Hold on, Matt Ryan. D-Mac not looking back. Touchdown. How about that Heisman, Mark Jones? How do you He's like wide it? Wide open again. Did that take how long? It was an 80-yard run. I'll guess about eight seconds. Wow. For Darren McFadden, Bob. 80 yards. Oh, let's just watch it right here. They have some angles on them. They still haven't touched them at this point, and they won't. 
Wow. Untouched. And look at Corey Boyd watching it on the big screen. He's just saying that ain't right. Says that one's on me. My bad. But that took some of the steam out of the Gamecocks. Back with more after this. 43 to go. McKinley on the catch. Nowhere to go, though. Brought down at the 35-yard line. A defining point of the game here for South Carolina. Mitchell given time. And barely got it away before being hit back at the 25. That in the wild hog formation. Keeps it himself. <laughs> no. Saw another 80-yarder coming in. And with this win tonight, Felix Jones, McFadden, and the crew. Oh, don't sleep on d -Mac. Don't nap. Don't make a lot of good things happen. 500 total rush yards. Mark, tonight. do you realize 500 yards? spot into Steve Spurrier's team. Had high hopes coming in, but it was Jones, Jones, more Jones. McFadden, McFadden, and more McFadden.